Hi everyone! I am somebody that travels quite a bit and usually my flights take place early in the morning. It can be really tricky getting up at a weird hour, having to have all of your stuff together to get out the door. Over years of taking many early morning flights, I have definitely learned some things along the way, so I just wanted to share some tips with you guys if you are taking any kind of early morning flights and you want to be as prepared as possible. I figure out what time I need to be at the airport in the morning and I always try to arrive at the airport with at least an hour and a half of cushion before my flight takes off because you just never know how the airport is going to be in the morning. Sometimes security is really crazy, sometimes you have issues checking in, sometimes there's just crazy traffic. Having that cushion just really helps give me peace of mind. Knowing the time that I need to be at the airport also helps me decide what time I need to wake up in the morning. So I try to give myself about 45 minutes to an hour before leaving to just make sure that I have everything and go over a checklist. I normally set multiple alarms because I'm getting up at an odd hour. It's normally dark outside and I normally am not wanting to get out of bed and I'm just really afraid of missing my alarm. I'll set an alarm on my iPhone but if you can it's also really great to set an alarm on something outside of your phone. So whether it's a watch or maybe your iPad, just dispersing it to something else just in case. This is how crazy I get. Guys, I'm so afraid of missing my flight and having it be my fault. <laughs> I always make sure that I'm fully packed the night before and I'll set out things that I know I need to use in the morning, like my skincare stuff. So I'll have my skincare bag out, packed, ready to go, and I'll just pull out the things that I know I'm using in the morning. So like moisturizer, sunscreen, a serum, eye cream, things like that. I am in 100% zombie autopilot mode in the morning, so I lay out everything so I don't have to think about anything in the morning and that means I lay every single piece out right down to my underwear so I don't have to be looking for anything. If I'm bringing a jacket, I'll hang that up so I can just grab it and go. It just makes it a lot easier on yourself when you're not fully awake yet. I also make a checklist for the morning so that way I can just consult the list and check everything off and I don't have to think about it because I've already thought about it the night before. Two things that I always make sure are on my checklist, running the dishwasher and taking out the trash. I always leave those two things for the morning because I may have to throw things away in the morning and if I take out the trash the night before, I'm gonna have trash laying around in my house and it's just good to take out the trash because that way you don't have anything sitting and getting smelly while you're away. And I also run the dishwasher because I might be having a glass of water or using something. So whenever I use the last fork or cup or whatever it is, I put that in the dishwasher, run it, and then when I get back, everything is nice and clean. Plus there's no dirty dishes in the sink because that can get kind of gross too. The last thing I like to do the night before is pack my tote bag. So this is typically the thing that is holding my laptop, the book that I'm bringing, all of my cords and chargers and things like that that I need. I like bringing my empty swell bottle with me so after I get through security, I can fill it up with water or I can put coffee in it. I also make sure to pack a snack that's easy to travel with and I I really love these applesauce pouches because I can eat them on the go and I'll typically pack two so then if I get hungry on the plane and I want something I also have that option as well. I always have a little pouch with me that has things in it like hand cream, lip balm, hand sanitizer, an eye mask, earplugs because that's always great for sleeping on the plane, eye drops because my eyes typically are dry and tired especially in the morning, comfy socks to wear on the plane because because I just love taking my shoes off and also my feet get cold and it just really helps my feet stay warm and cozy. And because I will probably be sleeping on the flight, I have discovered this 
incredible miracle of a neck pillow. It's called the turtle. It's almost like a neck pillow scarf. So it has this framing that basically fits into the bend of your neck here. And then there's the scarf part of it that's adjustable with Velcro on it. And you just wrap it around your neck until it feels snug and secure. And then you can just lean your head on it. So it basically just creates a ledge for you to lean on. When you fall asleep, your head isn't doing this because that is one of the most annoying things when you're falling asleep and then you wake yourself up and you're also really startled by it too and you can't get a good nap in. So I have slept so well ever since getting this pillow. It really makes sleeping, sitting up a lot more comfortable. And I got it off of Amazon so it was really easy to get too. So that is pretty much it for the night before and now moving into the day of the flight. So this is like waking up early in the morning, not fully alive yet, but still gotta go. I really make an effort to make my bed because it always just makes me feel better when I come back home having my bed made. And I always just try to think in moments where I really don't want to do something, I think about my future self and how my future self is going to love that my bed is made when I I come back from traveling and being away for a while it's just gonna feel so good to come back and have a nicely made bed to get into then I'll go through my skincare routine and I'll use the products that I left out the night before and because I always have my skincare bag right there it makes it really easy because I can just use everything put it in the bag zip it up and then put everything into my suitcase I typically don't travel wearing any makeup because I just like to be able to have my skin free and open to breathe, especially on an airplane where the air is just recycled, your skin is getting dry. I just don't like to be putting makeup on my face, especially if it's super early in the morning, my face is just like, no. I will, however, sometimes run a straightener through my hair, especially if I have to get off the plane and go into something, so that way I don't have to think about doing my hair. And last but not least, as far as checking in goes, if I'm just traveling with carry-on, items I will check in in advance online so then when I get to the airport I can go straight to security but if I have a checked bag then I'll just go through the entire process at the airport because I'm gonna have to drop my bag and there usually isn't that much of a difference between just dropping your bag and doing the full-on check-in process so those are all of my tips for traveling early in the morning I hope that you guys found this video to be helpful if you have any questions for me please leave them down below and please let me know if any of you out there also know about this turtle neck pillow because it has changed my traveling life and if you are somebody that has trouble sleeping and sitting you need to check out this pillow and this is not sponsored at all this is just something that I am crazy about and I just want other people to know about it because I had so much trouble sleeping on planes before I found this pillow and I love that it's not bulky either. I need to calm down about this pillow. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy my turtle pillow, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will have more videos coming your way. If any of you are traveling soon, I am wishing you safe travels and I hope you have a wonderful trip. I'll see you guys later, bye.